So, wir nehmen das U jetzt heute 6 und 6. Okay. Im Restaurant. C. Ein Cartoon. Lesen Sie und sehen Sie die Bilder an. Was notiert der Kellner auf Bild 2? Der Kellner ist ein Waiter. So, jemand liest jetzt den Cartoon. So. Ich möchte gerne, dass jemand den Karton liest. Kannst du bitte den Karton lesen? Uh, wissen Sie schon, was Sie essen wollen? Ja. Ich hätte, bitte. Ich hätte gern, gerne. gerne die Karte bitte. Ja. und zu trinken. So, wissen Sie schon, was Sie essen wollen? So, you should understand now. Ich hätte gerne die Karte, bitte. So, I would like to have the menu card. Ich hätte gerne, wir haben Sie in der Bibliothek, wie das Same as möchte. Und zu trinken, ein for drink, for drinking. So. Um, we have to understand that there, there is something to smile a little here. Yeah, something should be, or should make you smile. So, the first question, no, the first question, or the first picture is a normal, Question, yeah. But when it comes to the second picture, so here is something a little funny, lustig. So, what here uh, makes me smile? Assistic captain. Is a menu card. So why sh normally, normally should I smile here? <coughs> and he's asking what do you want to eat? Yeah. So saying, uh, I would like a menu card. Yeah. So yeah, I understood that the menu card is a dish. Yeah. Because after that he is going ahead and for drinking. <laughs> okay, this is our, uh, the way you have to understand it. So, also die Karte, das ist eine Shortform of Speisekarte, die Sie hier haben. Wir haben Speisekarte. So, this is a real mini card. So, people don't say Speisekarte, mostly you say die Karte. Das ist das same. So, Elfa, die Bestellung. So, 11a, die Bestellung. Hören Sie das Gespräch. Was bestellen Sven und Anna? Kreuzen Sie an. So, die Bestellung, wir sind jetzt, die Bestellung ist ein Wort. So, die Bestellung ist ein Wort. So, die Bestellung ist ein Wort. Also wir haben einen Salat mit Käse, Spaghetti Bolognese, das ist 
an Italian dish so with uh, spaghetti right? and uh, uh, red sauce and tomato sauce. Schnitzel mit Pommes, this is a typical German or Australian dish. The schnitzel is a, is a pork chop or you can have it on nowadays also in chicken. Uh, also, this is in bread crumb. It's a chop in bread crumb with French fry. Also, everybody who goes to Germany or to Austria, they eat that and they are very, uh, also very uh, they like it so much. Yeah. Die Apfelsaftschorle, also der Schnitzel, uh, der Schnitzel is uh, neutral, yeah, der Schnitzel. This is a chop, yeah, whatever it is. This is a red ball, but you can do something with chicken, yeah. Chicken. Chop, yeah. When the apples are shortly, as a dish shortly, yes. The shawl is a mix, uh, um, mixed drink. Mixed drink. So you can do it with uh, whatever you have, yeah. Uh, we do it with uh, wine and it has to be, as a, if you want it sweet, then you have seven up or a limo, lemonade. So wine and lemonade, or if you don't want it too sweet, you put the soda, wine and soda, or you can have it with beer or so, beer and soda, so it's a little, uh, to reduce the, uh, the intensity of the drink, you know, otherwise for women, for example, maybe the wine or the beer alone could be too uh, strong, so you mix it with something sweet. Seven up, or you mix it with soda. Yeah. So for the beer, it is quite uh, <coughs> well spread. It is called shandy. In England, you go to uh, you go to England and you have it as a shandy. So it exists. It's not that uh, it doesn't exist. It exists. Or we mix now for the children. Yeah. Uh, Coke is not good. That is clear. Yeah. For the stomach, it's not at all good, and for the health, it's not. Good. But the children, they they want to have coke, okay? So they uh, do, they take some uh, Fanta and they mix it to the coke. And you have uh, another drink which is not so full of coke, yeah, it's a 50-50, yeah. So for the children, this is what we give. Yeah. And so this is the shawl. The shawl is always what is mixed, yeah? And here it is with the apple juice. The apples of shawler, so they will ask you, do you want sweet or do you want sour? So if it is sweet, it's your limo, and if it is sour, you will have uh, with a uh, uh, soda. Yeah? It's up to you what you want. Uh, cola, so cola, you can have das, or the cola, this is Coke, Coca Cola, and the limonade. So, also wir hören jetzt das Gespräch äh, zwischen Sven und Anna und sie haben auch einen Hund. Das ist der Svens Hund. Ja. So, wir hören, was äh, sie bestellen. Aufgabe 11a. Bestellst du auch was zu essen? Ja, ich habe Hunger. Hey, wer ist denn das? Das ist Tobi, mein Hund. Der ist ja süß. Für wen ist die Apfelsaftschorle? Für mich, danke schön. Dann ist die Cola für Sie. Bitte schön. Was möchten Sie essen? Für mich bitte einen Salat mit Käse. Und für dich, Sven? 
Für mich bitte Schnitzel mit Pommes. Also, ein Salat mit Käse und einmal Schnitzel mit Pommes. Alles klar. Entschuldigung, könnten Sie auch Wasser für den Hund bringen? Wasser für den Hund? Ja, natürlich. So. Also, was bestellt Anna? Was hat Anna bestellt? Also, sie bestellt einen Salat mit Käse und eine Apfelsaftschorle. So, was bestellst du? Was bestellst du, Sven? Er, ja, oder Sven? Sven bestellt ein Schnitzel mit Pommes und zum Trinken ein Cola. Oh, eine Cola. We will more uh, go for the feminine. Even if the neutral is also right, but we hear more deep. <coughs> also, Sven bestellt ein Schnitzel mit Pommes und eine Cola. Und Anne bestellt einen Salat mit Käse und eine Apfelsaftschorle. Okay? So, ich möchte jemand, der das wiederholt. Zum Beispiel, Entschuldigung, bitte wiederholt das. Ja, sag noch einmal, was bestellt Sven und Anna? Was bestellt Anna? Bestellt. Anna? Bestellt? Not Anna, es ist Anna. Anna? Anna. Ja. Bestellt ein, eine Salat, einen, einen Salat mit Käse und ein, eine, eine Apfel, Apfelsaftschorle. Ja, und Sven? Und Sven bestellt eine Schnitzel mit Pommes und ein Cola. Ein Cola. Gut, eine oder ein Cola. Ja. Also das ist die Bestellung. Jetzt hören wir das Gespräch mit der Kellnerin. Ja. So, wir gehen zu B, Personalkunung im Akkusativ. Hören Sie noch einmal einen Teil mit Bau des Gesprächs aus A und ergänzen Sie. Wir hören das. Aufgabe 11b. Für wen ist die Apfelsaftschorle? Für mich. Dankeschön. Dann ist die Cola für Sie. Bitte schön. Was möchten Sie essen? Für mich bitte einen Salat mit Käse. Und für dich, Sven? Für mich bitte Schnitzel mit Pommes. Also, ein Salat mit Käse und einmal Schnitzel mit Pommes. Alles klar. Entschuldigung, könnten Sie auch Wasser für den Hund bringen? So. Also hier haben wir ein Gespräch mit der Kellnerin. So. Für wen ist die Apfelsaftschorle? Sagt die Kellnerin. Und was antwortet ähm, Anne? Das ist Anne. Anne bestellt eine Apfelsaftschorle. So, was antwortet Anne? Sie antwortet für, für mich. Dankeschön. Die Kellnerin bitte. Dann ist die Cola für für Sie. So, she is talking of Sven. Bitte schön. Was möchten Sie essen? So, 
uh, Anne again. Für für mich bitte einen Salat mit Käse und dann sie spricht mit Sven jetzt und für dich Sven so Sven antwortet für mich bitte Schnitzel mit Pommes und äh, mit dem Hund Entschuldigung könnten Sie auch Wasser für 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 den Hund bringen <coughs> ja hier wir haben den Artikel so der die das ja also so der in Akkusativ. Yes, today we have seen that the für nicht in Akkusativ. And we see it now with the personal pronoun. But it is also, you see it for the article. And it, it applies also to the article. So we will see this personal pronoun a little more in detail now. We will see uh, the comparison with English. Yeah. So we will have here the me, the you. I told you today we don't have any difference. Uh, no, so you can see it in your mother tongue. Then here, remain the same here. Then and the you. So the you and the it are remaining the same, otherwise, you have a change. So for German now. Is a myth, and the do is a dich. The air is a in. The z will remain the same, same with a s. So the v is a uns. Here is a oi. And these two remain the same. We also as we have some which remain the same. This is a z, all the z and the s. So, as so you use them when you have the few, I have told yesterday, yeah, I have für mich, or we can put, put also für uns, I cannot put this one, für wir und für ich, you don't say in English, für, for I and for we, this is the same, so, so that should understand, yeah. So now a question, if I have a question for whom, so we have the whom and we have learned that the whom is an accusative. In German we will have him. So I cannot say who for who or in German for where. I have to go in the accusative case. For whom, für wen. Yeah, this is the same. If you have understood that, then you have understood all. Yeah, so as we here, I will write few of them. Because we need to have to So, as we have the personal pronoun in accusative, <coughs> and we have the question, well, where, means who, also in accusative. All has to be nice. Yeah? So we are learning <coughs> the personal pronoun in accusative. I, I write it here. Uh, we have for, with a few in German. 
But when when do you use a me, you, him? Uh, not only with for. This is what I was trying to tell you yesterday. You use it also. I see her. You don't have to for. Yeah? Or you bring him to my place. So, as a, <coughs> this is with a four, this is clear, but it is with other verb, which are accusative verb. We have seen the accusative verb. Uh, for example, uh, okay, go off and have another one now, we will read it. Backen, for example, backen to back, okay? Backen to back. Yeah? So, if I say, Ich backe, ich backe einen Kuchen. Okay? I have to have an accusative because my question will be, will be was backst du? So, I have the was, I have automatically my accusative. Now I don't want to repeat Kuchen because I have told it in a previous sentence. And I want to say, I bake it. So I will take that, and I will take that. Because Kuren is masculine. <clears throat> yeah? Is it clear? Or oh, you don't understand? In. Das ist der Kuchen. Der Kuchen ist er. Okay? That has nothing to do with the here in English. You have to relate to the, always in German, to the gender of the word. Yeah? So, uh, you know that the words in English, in German, for the object, we have derby, that's also. So the woman is a he in German. So I go to the he. And I put what is needed for the verb. Backen. Yeah? So, for example, if I cook a soup, the soup is a she. <clears throat> okay? So I can ask. My friend, was kochst du? That you know. <clears throat> ich koche eine Suppe. So if I want to say, cook it, ich koche sie. Das ist what you have to learn in German is a der, die, das. Because from der, die, das, all come. If you don't know der, die, das, and you think all our object will be S, then it is wrong. I am applying only my der, die, das, in an answer, <coughs> in, 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 in the accusative with a pronoun finish. Have to be always in the he or in the she. If my object is a he or is it my object is a she. <clears throat> so if if I have of course auto, auto is das, then I will have an S. That is clear. Was fährst du? Ich fahre ein Auto. Ich fahre S. But it is a, an exception for German. For English it's always like that. But for us, we are going according to the genders of the object. Huh? Also, if I want to speak about the cake with a four, I need, for example, for the cake I need fruit. So, I need fruit for it. So, I will say, für in. Because the cake is Masculine. I'm still in my masculine. 
and the suit. And if it's, it's okay if it's for the man, it will be also for in, to in. That's why you have to know from the beginning that the derdi does finish. <clears throat> that is the most important thing. And then from that, you can do all what you have to do. As we are understood in this case, in this case we are talking about person. Yeah? So I can say for me, uh, okay, for me she's only for a person. I cannot put it for the cake. Yeah? The cake is not speaking or it's not like, yeah? So for the cake is only for him. But for me she's a person. For this. Yeah? For the moon. The moon is also masculine in German. So for him. I hope you have understood now, definitely understood, that you have to know the leaders. Because we are related all to that. Okay? Yeah? It's the same if I have uh, two cakes. Yeah? Okay? And we take this one. Plural is not a problem. Yeah? In plural, we have seen that all the uh, gender there, D, that will be only D. The only group is a D. So it will be this one. Yeah? So for all the object, you will have in plural, if it is a cake, if it is several soups, you will that, and several cars, you will have that. And only if you have, um, uh, as a, the formal thing, you will have also the Z. Formal. If you are formal to two people, for example, and you will say, I'm bringing the soup for you, and you will have this one. It can be also singular. This one is bought, you know, the you formal is bought. If I have only one person to whom I am formal, yeah, I will say for the, if I have two for the, there is no difference. It's only the context. This is only for the singular that you have to make a difference between the genders. <clears throat> okay? So, as we have them here, they have given you, and here they have explained what they have explained with the furine. Uh, so on one, on one side they have put furine, means for him, and on the other side they have put for the dog, the dead moon. <coughs> Okay, so we are doing this one now to be to be sure that it is understood. <coughs> the vein is was spielen Sie zu zweit jede Würfel zweimal das erste Mal für das Getränk oder Essen und das zweite Mal für die Person. So as we have we have here the person and we have here the object, the food. Okay, so after that. And if, if I want to say, the apple juice is for me. So what do I say? <clears throat> there, this is a problem. If you have the D, you will say for, for Z. Huh, and this is there, that, so it, it will be for him. If you have to write a sentence with that for him. Also, der Apfelsaft ist für mich. Ja, okay. Wasser und du. Das Wasser ist für dich. Ja? Dann Pizza und er. Pizza, what is the gender? That is die Pizza, richtig, ja? So, also, die Pizza ist für ihn. Dann Salat und sie, der Salat ist für sie. Okay, dann wir going to Schnitzel und wir.
Das, das Schnitzel ist für uns. Okay? Und Suppe und hier. Die Suppe ist für euch. Okay? Also, wir haben das für Sie Personal genommen. Und all our work all together. Yeah. <clears throat> so we are going to 12. Here. Okay. Was möchten Sie? Spielen Sie zu dritt Dialog. So, die Speisekarte jetzt. Menzo Venica. Die Tomatensuppe. Der Salat mit Käse hier, das Schnitzel mit Pommes, Spaghetti Bolognese, ein kleines Eis, das Eiscreme, und die Getränke, das Wasser, die Cola, die Limonade und die Apfelsaftschorle. So hier, for the dialog, we have of course our field here. Was möchten Sie trinken? So, für mich bitte. Einen, ein und eine. Okay? All is in Akkusetik. Und für Sie, ich hätte gern einen, ein und eine. Möchten Sie auch etwas essen? Ja, ich nehme. You have to take, ja. Okay. Oh, für, ja, für mich bitte. Vielen Dank. Danke. So, this thing, you will do it now. You will order something. Ja? Also möchten Sie haben es hier, aber wir wissen es schon seit langer Zeit. Ja? Also das Wort, wir können es benutzen, natürlich. Und, hallo, was möchten Sie trinken? Für mich bitte eine Cola. Du siehst aus, wie du es Also, wir werden hier einen Waiter oder eine Waitress, Kellnerin, Kellner und zwei Gäste. Ja? So who is doing that? Yeah, okay. And the two are there. And one guest, I need yes. For one waiter, waiters. Yeah, okay, as a three. So now we have to who has a guest and who is a waitress? Waitress. Now we have two waitress now. <laughs> so there's bad. So as a guest. <coughs> Waitress, yeah. Okay, guest. Also, the waitress is coming to the table and ask the guest. Also, now manage it. Do, do that. Hello. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Möchten. Was möchten Sie trinken? Pure milk. Bitte ein Schnitzel mit Trinken. Trinken, oh, sorry. Uh, für mich bitte eine Cola. Oh, Cola, super. Uh, und and for you, how do you say that? And for you. Und für, uh, für Sie. Und für Sie. Ich hätte gern eine Limonade. Okay. Okay. Ja, äh, most, äh, mosten. Was? Mosten Sie auch etwas oh, okay. essen? Möchten Sie auch etwas äh, essen? Ja. Ja, ich nehme einen Salat mit Käse. Einen, einen Salat mit Käse. Äh, und, und Sie? Ja, für mich bitte eine Suppe. Ja, will ich denken. Vielen Dank. Vielen Dank. Okay. Danke. It was good. <coughs> we are taking uh, three others, please. Yeah, here, yeah, this one. Okay, I'll yeah. We have two. Uh, yeah. Other way, waiter. Yeah, and two days. Okay. The waiter starts. Hello. What's most in the drink? Hallo, für mich bitte eine Cola. Okay. 
Nicola. Whom pure zi? Is is better than an apple zak shara? Zuma. What shara? Mustn't zi auch etwas essen? Ja, ich nehme ich ich nehme bitte einen Salat mit Käse. Ja, ja, ja. Und für Sie? Ja, für mich bitte eine Schnitzel mit Pommes. Ein ein Schnitzel. Ein Schnitzel mit Pommes. Not Schnitzel. 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 Mit Pommes. Mit Pommes. Okay, Lena. Thank you. So now we will take our first group again. And we will ask the waitress, I think it was the waitress, to come back with the order. We will have to come back with the order. With order. And you have to give the right thing to the right person. So here we can help you. Yeah? Okay? So I don't remember exactly what they have over. <coughs> also, try to do that. For whom is now? Uh, actually, uh, suppose I want to say thanks. Thanks for waiting. Uh, your, your food is ready. Uh, this, uh, this I don't, they don't say that normally, but if you want to say it, it's danke for the Swarte. Swarte. That Swarte is the waiting. Warten is to wait, so that's warten. Danke für das Warten. They don't think because it's normal that they go to the kitchen and take some time. Also. Hello. Danke. Danke für? Danke für Worte. Für das. Okay, danke für das Worte. Worte, ja. Zu wem ist die Apple Schirr? Apple Sack. Apple, actually I don't remember the orders. Cola und Lemonade. Ah, okay. Thank you. Für wem? Für wem? Is the the cola? As a moment, she asked us. So when is the cola? Give me. Thank you. Okay. So then you don't need to ask again. For when is the lemonade? You know it. So you say what she has told me. Then is the lemonade for you? You say. Then. Then is the lemon lemonade. Lemonade. Für Sie, ja. bitte schön, was äh, mochten Sie essen? Nein, no, nein, no. das ist klar. Okay. You go with the food also. Okay, okay. <coughs> ja. So, also you repeat that, for whom is, I don't know what they have ordered. Salat mit Käse. Also for, the, also for whom is the salat with cheese, so. Okay. So, okay. Uh, sorry, what I want to tell them? You have all on the train. <coughs> the drink and the food. Mm. But you don't know who has uh, what order, yeah? Okay. yeah? So, as all you say that. Uh, few ben? Few, uh, few ben is the, the salad. Their salad? Salad and, uh, and the lemonade. The lemonade. It's already done. Okay. Now you have Salad. done the drinking part, now you have to go to the eating part. Okay. Pure when is the uh, salat mit Kesa? Yeah. Pure mit. Okay. Yeah. Dan, Dan, I don't know what you have ordered. Uh, Dan. Yeah. Zufa. Uh, so Dan. Dan is the... the is the... Is the Zufa. Pure Z. Pure Z. Dan. Yeah. So you repeat that from the beginning. You are understood. You do. We are doing the the part which is uh, the most difficult. So you do it with them uh, from the beginning. Uh, so okay. first the drink and then the food. Okay.
हेलो दामका फ्यू दस वाटन फ्यू व्हेन इस दी एफ लेमन दी दस कोला फ्यू में दामका शॉम ओके दान इस दी लेमोनाइट फ्यूजी लेमोनाइड फ्यूजी बेटर शॉम ओके फ्यू व्हेन इस द सलाद मिस केसर मिक मिक केसर फ्यू में दामका इस दी Zupa, the the Zupa, Danko, Fuji, 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 Okay, so now the second group, you are doing the same. You remember what I was doing? Okay, that's it. I am the same thing which is happening in South Florida. So, Pure? Pure is the cola. Pure milk, dark sugar. Dark is the apple zap sugar. Shoshle? Shoshle, Fuji. Furen is the zalat mid case. Their zalat mid case. Fur mid. 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 Fur Das Schnitzel mit Pommes für Sie. Für mich bitte. Danke schon. Also ja, man muss gut auch ich wollte es, ja? Wie so für. And when you order, ich nehme, ich hätte gern. Oh, für mich. Ich nehme, ich hätte gern und sei für mich, bitte. Nein, 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 nein. Einer, nur einer, einer. So now we are going to the payment. So, 13a, 13a, zahlen bitte. Wer sagt was? Hören Sie und kreuzen Sie an. So, we are explaining a little about uh, what this thing. Können wir bitte zahlen? So, the waiter say, einen Moment bitte. Zusammen oder getrennt? So Susanna, we know it already. This is together. So getrennt is separate. <coughs> separate. Yeah. We are seeing yesterday trennbar verb. This is separable verb. So this is the same root. Yeah. So separate. So I have to explain something. Yeah. Why is a German? Uh, uh, Waiters ask the guest if they want to pay separately or they want to pay together for all the table, for all the guests. So you have to deal with euros. You have to take care uh, of the currency rate, yeah? so the exchange rate of the euro. Yeah? And the euro is very strong currency yeah so 1000 euro and not 1000 rupees okay so if you have for example uh for all what we have eaten i say you know something like that 20 euros it will not be 20 uh, rupees yeah okay hmm? so 20 euro is a big amount and if you have to pay for all your friends then if you go uh, two, three times <laughs> for eating in the week to the restaurant, then I don't think you will have something left at the end of the month. Hmm? Also, it is not at all uh, an impoliteness to, not to pay for the friends in there. Yeah? Because everybody has to look up to the money also. Yeah? 20 euro is a lot of money. Okay? So, 
the people say getrennt, even if I have my friends, I can say getrennt, it's not a problem. Or you can pay together, then Susanne, if you want to pay 40 euro, also 20 euro for your friend. But you have to take care of that. And so the waiter is asking because it's polite to ask and not to surprise the people, make a full amount that you will have 1,000 euro to pay. Uh, 1, euro to pay. <clears throat> Who can pay 1,000 euro? Nobody. But 1,000 rupees, everybody can pay. Yeah? So you see the difference. And so that's why they ask Susan or the only trend. Yeah? Then Susan, okay, this one he has money, it's fine, he can pay. And then she, she's telling the price. So the price, you know, when we have a price, we say that's much, yeah? Okay? Hmm. That's marked this it is for amount, yeah? That's marked means it is. So don't try to translate literally uh, assist, yeah. We don't understand. Or we will have to correct it. Yeah? So that's marked and you say the price. Und stimmt so. So we have the verb stimmen. <clears throat> Here you have to understand something which is not told. <coughs> if I say, because in uh, Europe it's not like in India. In India they bring you the, the small book and you have inside the bill. So we have to say also people, the waiters here, and not people like we who have an education, okay? That didn't go to school, most of them, yeah? Or they went to the 10th standard, and then after that, they have left the school. So they cannot have a discussion as our, our waiters have, have, yeah? They are all educated, yeah? The waiters. Only, we have a lot of students also doing, for example, a semester job, yeah? So they are educated people, they want to earn a little money. So, so we can talk to these waiters. Normal, uh, same level as we are, yeah? And they will not bring a book and go away. So they will come with a block, again. Okay? So we have a personal attention with you, okay? Some of them. So, and they will ask you again, what did you eat? So what have you eaten? So you will say, ein Schnitzel. Und uh, was haben Sie getrunken? Ich habe einen Cola getrunken. Yeah? So he will make the bill for you. Because it's getrennt, yeah, for example. Yeah? If it is zusammen, he will, be the, he will uh, make the bill for the whole level. Yeah? But for you, he will make the bill. So, and he will say, he will give you money, him money. And he will say, stimmt so. So stimmen means it's okay like that. Yeah? Stimmen. To the verb means to be true, to be okay. <clears throat> yeah, if I say, I give him some money, and I say, stimmt so, means it's okay, you need to give back. You have your tip in hmm? If I, what I have eaten is 20 euro, okay, and I give him 22. And I say stim so like it is here means you will get two euro tip stim so. Understood? We don't want something. Keep the change. Huh? Keep the change. Yeah, keep the change is your tip indirectly. Huh? So and so it happens like that. <clears throat> we have two possibilities in uh, yeah to give. Directly the tip like that and stream so. And when you give too much, if I don't have uh, the two euro, I give 15 euro. For example. Or I give, yeah, because we have 20 euro and 50 euro. Yeah? Okay. We don't have uh, 30 euro, uh, no, seven. Yeah. So also we will have the, <coughs> the waiter with a, we will say 25 euro. Okay? So she will come to, or he will come to the guest, okay, will give the thing, and the guest will say, uh, stimmt so. Oh, das macht, she, she will say das macht, yeah. 
just now. And the guest, yeah, he gives them an A and say, stem so. Means he has given, he has given the tip. Tip, it will be 27. Yes, given 27 or 26. As that's found, the waiter say that's not 25 euro. The guest, still so means he has given to tip. Yeah? Or <coughs> the same scenario, that's marked 25 euro. As the guest say, Machen Sie 27, for example. Yeah? Okay? Means he has given more than that. Okay? Yes, in 50, for example. Okay? And the, the, uh, also the, the difference has to be in back. Okay? Yeah? Okay. So she has to give the difference part. We have to give the difference part. Okay. So it's like that. Either you give the wrong, uh, the right uh, amount, or you give more. And she has to give, or he has to give the difference part. Yeah? Because you say, Maranzi. Make it 27. Clear? <coughs> Good. So we are listening to them now. And I want to say we, we would like to pray. So, like here, you can make it. In a very uh, polite way, we are mentioning yes. We are mentioning yes. Bitte zahlen. Okay. Oh, können wir? Können wir bitte zahlen? Yeah. Is a question <coughs> or oh, simple B, please? You can say in English, we would like to have the B, we would like to pay now. Or oh, B, please. So this is sign. Sign. Okay. So we take the ball. So the B. It's not told in this book, but it may be asked at the exam. The bill is a direction. Bill is an invoice also. <coughs> okay? Because uh, so speaking part of the exam, they give you always one bill. You see or what is written on that is a bill. And you have to know the word. Because you want the friend to pay the bill for you. You are making a request to the next candidate to pay your bill, for example. So you have to know the word. Yeah. Okay? So we are listening to them now. Aufgabe 13a. Entschuldigung, können wir bitte zahlen? Ja, einen Moment bitte. Zusammen oder getrennt? Zusammen. Das macht dann 25,30. Stimmt so. Danke. Okay. 
pocket. <coughs> so you have it here also for your information. What I have written on the board regarding the tip is here. It is related to 20 euro. So the Kellner and the waiter said, let's mark, 18 euro 90. And the guest said, stimmt so, he has given 20 euro. Then, Kellner, that's mark 17, also 1 euro less. 17 euro 90, gas sagt 19, bitte. So, means, you will give him 20, and 1 euro back, and she will have also earned something. Yeah? Because it is 17 euro 90, so the gas say 19, bitte, machen Sie 19 euro, machen Sie 19 euro, bitte. Kellner, danke. He has got his tip. So you have two possibilities. You give the right amount with a tip, or you give a little higher and you have to make this amount. Salary is a verb. It's to pay. The rechnung is a bill. So the rechnung zahlen is to pay the bill. And nothing to do. Okay? Also, hier, spielen Sie zu zweit, benutzen Sie die Speisekarte aus auf Ausgabe 12. Also hier. So, who want to, to, to do that now? So, uh, different people. Who I don't know who. You didn't speak. So, if you will speak, I know it's the yeah. I know, there's only two. I'll be two. Yeah. Green und Grau. Spanish, hmm. bitte Salon. Ja, natürlich. Eine Apfelsaufschule, eine Tomatensuppe und ein Salat. Das macht dann äh, 16. Äh, 16 Euro. Äh, 60. Machen Sie 17 Euro. Okay. So, also the people who have now played the two uh, dialogues, yeah? Now, you were the waiters and he was the waiter. Now you are going to make the bill. Okay? And the guests will call you. We want to pay. Also, you, you, the first group is playing again, yeah, with the waiters. So one of you of the guests is calling the waiters. And the waiters will say, uh, together or separately or something like that, what we have seen here, yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah? And then you make the bill, and you can do that. Yeah, okay? Or that is the same, they make both the bill. Yeah. Okay, I will try to find something, but we understand it is a payment. You can also change it for it. Uh, the guests are calling. <coughs> you call? You can give the Order get Order get Order Das macht dann uh, 24 Uhr uh, 30. Moment. Das macht dann. So try to find who hunting. Don't know das, uh, das macht uh, dann. Ja, yeah, but find another amount. Amount. Uh, another one. 24 Euro. Euro. Also 24 Euro 30. Repeat that. 24 Euro 30. Okay, 30. Yeah. No, 30. 30. 30. Yeah. Stimmt so. So you are given. Stimmt so. Okay. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. So now you. Können wir bitte zahlen? Einen Moment bitte. Zusammen or getrennt? Oder okay. getrennt? Zusammen. Okay, das macht dann 
Tujang Oyo Sonji Stingsong No, what? No, not Stingsong Make it like that Yeah Makanji Makanji Sexton Oyo Makanji Sexton Oyo Dango Yeah Okay? So, as a don't be shy because you will be shy to say separately. <laughs> this is what I'm seeing here, always together. In Germany, you will change your mind very soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? So, you have to uh, plunge really in the context. We are not angry to you if you don't pay for us because we know that money is also an important factor yeah and you cannot pay always for your friends it doesn't spoil the friendship not at all because for example at the beginning we may be all students who is giving you the money yeah and even if you work yeah you have to pay so many things yeah the rental and uh, the insurances and the car and the petrol and I know you so many things. Yeah? So you will change very soon and nobody will be angry with you. And think about that, yeah. When you go there you have to change. The mentality you are here has to become another mentality. You have to live according to the environment you wish for. Okay? So it's not at all bad if you say separate. It will not be bad to you. Ah, she doesn't pay for me. 20 euros is a lot. Yeah? I don't know how much is it in the office, not 20? 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. Oh yeah, so 1,400 or 1,500 for your friend, yeah? It's a lot, no? If you have four friends, you will change immediately. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so we are going back to our um, birthday. Sophia's birthday. And we have again Sven and Anne. Hmm? Okay. And we ask now in the past tense, how was the birthday? I told you yesterday, we will learn the theory too. Means the simple past. Okay? And this is here. 14 H. Wie war? Wie war der Überraschungstag für Sophia? So, war is? Is a was. Hören Sie, welche Aussage passt zu wem? Notieren Sie. So, die Aussage is a statement, yeah? To whom? So, we have der Tag war langweilig. We are explaining now the word. Der Tag war langweilig, boring. <clears throat> der Kaffee war nicht gut. So, you understand. And the other one said, das war super. Na? Wir hatten Glück mit dem Wetter. We were lucky. With the weather. Ja. Das Picknick war klasse. Ja. Oder oh, alles war so lecker. Was ist lecker? Tasty. Tasty, yummy. <coughs> also, ja, sonst sagen wir, wir hatten zu wenig Kuchen. Zu wenig? Zu less. Ja. Der andere Mann sagt, der Tag war toll. Ich hatte viel Spaß. Aber wir hatten nicht <lacht> genug Getränke. Was ist der Nicht genug? <lacht> Was ist genug? <lacht> ist enough. Also nicht genug <lacht> ist not enough drinks. So there is one who is always complaining. 
And another one is always a P. Yeah, with all what it gets. So we will see now who is the happy one and who is the complaining one of the two. Yeah, because they have done a lot of preparation and it was a lot of effort. Yeah, so now we will see one of them is not happy. Aufgabe 14a. Und der Überraschungstag für Sophia war toll, oder? Ach ja, ich fahre halt nicht so gern Rad. Der Tag war langweilig. Echt? Das war doch super. Und wir hatten echt Glück mit dem Wetter. Und dann das Picknick, das war doch klasse. Alles war so lecker. Ja, das stimmt. Aber wir hatten nicht genug Getränke. Und ganz ehrlich, der Kaffee war nicht gut. Naja, und wir hatten auch zu wenig Kuchen. Also komm, der Kaffee war doch okay. Und Kuchen war auch genug da. Man muss ja nicht drei Stücke essen. Ich finde, der Tag war toll. Es war eine sehr schöne Überraschung für Sophia. Und sie war so glücklich. Und ich hatte viel Spaß. Ja, das stimmt. Also, wer war... Also wer hat das äh, richtig gut gefunden? Wer? Äh, Anna. Anna. Anna hat das Picknick und den Tag richtig gut gefunden. Ja? Und Sven? Ja? Nichts, nichts war gut. Nichts. Kaffee war nicht gut. Äh, das Picknick, Moment, äh, was sagt er? Die Getränke, nicht genug da. Und der Kuchen auch zu wenig. Ja. Und was sagt Anna zum Schluss? Man muss ja nicht drei Stücke essen. Man muss ja nicht drei Stücke essen. Drei Stück Kuchen. Er hat drei Stück Kuchen gegessen. Ja? Und nachher sagt er, wir hatten zu wenig Kuchen. Zu wenig. Denn er hat drei Stück gegessen. Man muss ja nicht drei Stück essen, sagt Anna. Ja? Ja? That's why. Two less. Ja? Also, this guy is never happy. Ja? So, and it is for learning the past tense of the verb to be or in the verb to have. So, we have all in war. Ja? Or hatte. So you see these two verbs here. So you don't need me to write it on the board, yeah, because you have it here very nicely written, to have and to be. Yeah. So you take care of the endings. They have again endings. <coughs> this is a particularity of the German uh, verbs. They like endings. <coughs> yeah. So, also, this is only to learn, and now you will be able to speak in the past tense, when it comes to be and to have, because the other verb, you don't know that. Okay? Good. We are finishing the lesson with this part now. It is, as usual, something about the country, some cult uh, cultural information, yeah? Especially for you young people, you like to go for drinking. When you are in a foreign country, you will go there and drink. And my, all my students who are there, they are enjoying going to the pubs. <clears throat> so Kneipe. The Kneipe is a pub. Is a bar. Yeah? Okay, the Kneipe. Is a pub, cafe or so, yeah. So, but you get some alcohol too. So, verschiedene Lokale lesen Sie die Text und ergänzen Sie die Tabelle. Okay? Verschiedene, verschieden, different. 
Verschieden ist different. Lokal, das Lokal. Das Lokal. Also, I is a plural. Is a place. When it comes to essen or to trinken. A local is, like you say in English sometimes, also here, joint. A joint. Joint. You say joint. Yeah? Sometimes you say hotel. It can be a hotel also. A hotel is not so uh, decent uh, like a restaurant. A restaurant is something with class. And a joint or is a eatery. Yeah? A hotel is a eatery. Yeah? So a knife is a pub or a tree or a joint where you have your drink and your food, yeah? Okay, so local is a place where we eat and where we drink. Can you translate it as you want? Yeah. <clears throat> so the first one is the Straußwirtschaft. So you have to know the culture a little of Germany or of these countries, yeah? Um, we are wine producing countries, especially Germany, Switzerland has a little also. Yeah. Uh, so it is regarding to wine. <clears throat> the wine is harvested, or the grape harvested every year in September. Yeah. You don't see it now. Every year you will have a new wine, right? So when the new one is harvested, the, the <coughs> juice is made, it's pressed on the grape. Then you get a Swedish grape grape juice, yeah, at the beginning. It's not at all fermented. Yeah? So what's the family, what are doing the families there who have a wine a winery? They may have uh, yeah, as grapes and all that, yeah. These are small families, they are small fields, and they have the, uh, the winery on the field. So they take their wine. First of all, the wine is not sometimes made with them, by them. They take it to a, um, how to say that, cooperative. As a, to a wine producing plant, where they have all the machine. They bring only the grape. They get their wine back, so they juice back, so in a, in a tank, and they bring it home. Yeah, they have a lot. So what they are doing, they open their home for four, year, uh, four months a year, from September till uh, November, December sometime. Yeah, they open the home, they remove all the furniture, and they put chairs and table in the drawing room. And the grandma and the, and, the, and the mother are cooking in the kitchen for the guests. So you will get home made food and the fresh wine. Okay? And you have sometimes some people making music and all that. So it is a very small place to drink and to eat. You will not get elaborated food. You will get some pies. You will get some some crackers or something, you know, the, 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 what you call that, yeah. Also, very simple food, yeah, okay? And you will drink your wine and you will have your fun and all that, be careful, yeah, when you get up, the wine is still, maybe you think it is juice, but the wine is st has still some volume inside, yeah? Some uh, percent, uh, alcohol, yeah? So you may fall down, yeah? <laughs> People don't think of that as this juice, yeah? <coughs> Slowly, slowly, it becomes wine, yeah? You go at the end of the four months, you will have a, you will have wine, yeah? Okay? So it's better to call the police, yeah? Oh no, to, to call the taxi, yeah? Otherwise the police will come. <laughs> police is uh, seen at uh, every corner of the road, yeah? Because I know, in this season, they have the Straußwirtschaft open. And the police make them money. Yeah? And be careful, it's better to call a taxi. Or somebody who doesn't drink. To have somebody who doesn't drink, and he will bring all the guys back. Yeah, okay. And this is that, this is very uh, familiar. Yeah, it's a family run 
small thing, yeah. This is nice. So we are learning about that, yeah. And we are lesen, yeah. So we are listening. Yeah. Okay. Strauss wird shocked. Yeah. Strauss wird shocked. Gibt es in Wein Gebieten. Sie haben maximal vier Monate im Land geöffnet. Es gibt Platz für maximal 50 Personen. 50? 40. 40 Personen. Man bekommt dort eigenen Wein und einfaches Essen. Zum Beispiel Flammkuchen oder Flammkuchen. Flammkuchen oder Zweibelkuchen. Zweibelkuchen. Oft sitzt man draußen. In Österreich heißen sie Buschenschau. In der Schweiz Besenwirtschaft. Besenwirtschaft. So, I don't know what is Straußwirtschaft. Strauß normally is a Ostrich, the, 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 the bird, Strauss, or it can be also a bunch of flowers, for example, the Strauss. Yeah. I don't know what it, why it is like that. So, in Stuttgart, where I come from, near Stuttgart, is a Besenwirtschaft. Besenwirtschaft, because the family, when they open their drawing room, they will put a, a sweeper at the entrance door. Put it here, so you know it's open. Basin, the basin is a sweeper. Yeah. <clears throat> so basin there, Sha. Buschenschank is in Austria. I don't know why they say Buschenschank. So also Straußwirtschaft gibt es in Weingebiete. Das Gebiet is an area. Yeah. Das Gebiet. Also where you have a lot of wineries. Wineries. Yeah. Okay. Das Gebiet. Sie haben maximal vier Monate im Jahr geöffnet. Also offen. Es gibt Platz für maximal 40 Personen. Ja. Drawing room uh, is not big, but 40 people is very so long. Man bekommt dort eigenen Wein und einfaches Essen, zum Beispiel Flammkuchen oder Zwiebelkuchen. So, man bekommt. Bekommen ist to get. Nothing to do with kommen, ja? Yeah? Ist bekommen, to get. Or to receive also. If you receive a letter, you can use also das. To receive a letter. <coughs> Eigenen Wein, this is what I'm telling, the wine is belonging to them. Yeah? So Eigen is own. Yeah? Eigen is own. The own wine of the family. Und einfaches Essen. Einfach, we have simple, <coughs> simple not elaborated. Yeah, food, the simple food. Zum Beispiel Flammkuchen und Zwiebelkuchen. Zum Beispiel is for example. Zum Beispiel. Yeah. So you write it full or you can write it abbreviated. So if you abbreviate for zum Beispiel, it will be said B. Zum, zum Beispiel. We find it in another text. So Flammkuchen. Flammkuchen is a, it's not German. Flammkuchen is from France, at the border with Germany. They speak the same language almost, the whole people of France. They were German before, before the war. So this is a region we have been always uh, taken by one country or given back to the other country, as they were never French or German, they didn't never know where they were belonging to. Now they belong to France. But still they speak German because 
the culture was German, and they make this Flammkuchen. Flammkuchen is a kind of, see, you have your papas, papas, yeah, okay? But the papa is made with dal, I think. Dal and all that. So we make it with wheat, flour, okay? And it is so crispy, okay? Maybe a little more like a pizza, a little so softer, but the flamco is very thin, 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 okay? And you put on that uh, uh, cream, amul cream, for example. You put onion, and people who eat pork, they put um, bacon, okay? And you put it in the oven, a pizza oven, and it comes after two, three minutes. And you have to eat something with a wine, at a wine pool. Yeah. And the other side of uh, France is Germany, the border, yeah, the Rhine the River is the place in there. Then you have the Tribal Kuren. A Tribal Kuren we call Kuren, but it is not a Kuren, it's a pie. It's a, it's a salty cake. It's a pie. So made of, of uh, onions. So the onion in September, they are very fresh. They are the young onions, like the white. Very sweet. Yeah. So they take one kg of onion and they put that in cream, in a, what I don't know, an egg and all that. They make a liquid uh, dough. First they make the pie, you know, the, the dough for the form, you know. And then they put that on that and they put it in the oven and you get your shrivel kuchen, I mean onion pie. So it's salty and also you drink your wine with that. So this is a cake or a pie only with with uh, onions, but this onion is sweet. Yeah, and you can put also bacon. Very good. So both they, they like uh, bacon. Yeah. Also, of Sitzmann, so the verb Sitzen. Sitzen is what we are doing now. Sitzen. Yeah. Sitzmann draußen. So you are not draußen. Draußen is the terrasse. That is drinnen. Draußen is outside. Drinnen is inside. What is this is? Draußen. If it, the weather is good, they sit outside. Okay? But if it uh, snows, you will not sit outside. So in Österreich heißen sie Buschenschank und in der Schweiz und in Germany also Besenwirtschaft. Yeah? So Stuttgart downwards is all the region of the wineries and you will have everywhere something to do. Yeah. And you will find the basin. Yeah, we were always uh, looking for a basin so for a sweet. And when we find, found one, we were enjoying <laughs> So, okay, this is a very special thing. Here you don't think in Nasik you have such thing? Yes. Mm -hmm. Was opening uh, only for four months? No. No, no, no. So usually maybe tell them, yeah, okay, when you uh, take, uh, you get the new wine, yeah, maybe open it to the tourists, yeah, uh, before the, the wine fermented, yeah, then to make a nice uh, something, yeah, in the, in the house, yeah, it would be a tourist attraction. You have a Nazi? No? Okay. <laughs> so, cafe house, now we are going to Wien, Wien, Vienna, <clears throat> Austria. Yeah, they have cafe poison. Yeah, very nice also. So we want to read that. Yeah, okay, she died. Cafe poison. Cafe Natürlich. Mention uh, lesson, Zintung, Zintung, and 
करके हाउस ऑर्डर रत्न वन साइंटिस्ट वन इस करके हाउस जीरो और हवन मस्टर बिस ड्राई साइंटिस्ट ड्राई इन साइंटिस्ट ब्यूर 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 और ब्यूफन Also, Kaffeehäuser sind typisch für Wien. Typisch? Typisch. Dort trinkt man Kaffee, of course. Aber natürlich auch andere Getränke. <lacht> natürlich, naturally. <lacht> man kann dort auch richtig essen. <lacht> richtig ist real, also really eat uh, normal food, ja. Richtig, ja. Because there is a simple food that we have seen here and normal, normal food, ja. okay? Oder nur einen Kuchen bestellen. Also you can have only a piece of food. Viele Menschen lesen Zeitung. Zeitung, wie ihr seht, also mm -hmm. das im Kaffeehaus oder treffen Freunde. Die Kaffeehäuser haben meistens bis 23 Uhr geöffnet. Okay, also the atmosphere of the Kaffeehaus is like that. It is a very antique building. If you like the antique building, old architecture, you can go there. It's very nice. So now we are going more for you to this place for you, this strand bar. It's a beach bar, yeah, it's the history. The strand is a beach. <clears throat> so, there is no beach in Germany, only in the north, and there, there you will uh, be like that, yeah? It's not like in Goa, or in Kerala, that the beach is a wall. <laughs> There you have to put a coat and, uh, and uh, something on the head and all that. So, but uh, this is entlang, so it is uh, uh, along a river or at a lake, at the lake bank. They put, they carry sand from the, I think from the north, from the real uh, beach, and they make a small beach with uh, chairs and sun umbrellas and all that, yeah. They have invention for attracting people. Right? Also, Strandbar. Who is reading this one? Yeah. <clears throat> in Tillen Standard, in Staten. Staten, in Deutschland, give heads, white dogs, Strandbars, Mitzar und Pam, Pam. <coughs> this in my, my <coughs> sense, an einen Fluss, oder an einen Island. Z. Z, yeah. Z. Man can dort etwas trinken und auch essen. Nachmal von Manchmal von Grill. Standards sind nur bei Sonne und Wetter. Wir können geben, aber dann bis drei. Oder länger. So, das war der Abdruck. Äh, in vielen Städten in Deutschland gibt es heute Strandbars. Mit Sand, so mit böse Sand und Palmen. Die Palme ist ein Palmtree. In Germany you can so for Palmtree. I think it will be plastic. <lacht> Die sind meistens an einem Fluss oder an einem See. Toll, you river or lake. Man kann dort etwas trinken und auch essen. Manchmal vom Grill. So Barbecue, Tandori. Strandbar sind noch bei Sonne und gutem Wetter geöffnet. Of course, if it rains, we will not have Strandbar. Ja. Aber dann bis 23 Uhr oder länger. So bit, viel late in the night. Uh, wir gehen jetzt in die Kneipe. Die Kneipe ist ein typical 
Bar. Bar. So Kneipe, wo ihr redet, ja. Kneipe, Bier. Kneipe gibt es. Gibt es. Gibt es überall. Sie. Überall. Überall. Liebe all. No, it's not all. It's a ah. Überall. Überall. Say we have a R, and I want to hear the R. Überall. Überall. I don't know if you say the R or I cannot hear the R, but it's okay. Überall. 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 I'm talking like that. You were out. Re, re, ral. Ibaga. Ral. 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 I think it was Gali. Gali. So again? Iba Ral. Iba Ral. Ral Ral. Iba Ral. It's so difficult for you. Iba Ral. Which language do you speak at all? Marathi? Marathi. It's so difficult when you're coming from Marathi speaking. Iba Ral. Iba Ral. Iba Ral. Yeah. Beispiel. Beispiel. Ja. Salate. Salate, ja. Manchmal auch. Auch. Ein. Eine. Eine große. Spaß. 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 In the wind. In the wind. Wien. In the wind. Heißen die Kneipen Weisel in der Schweiz. Ja, für uns ja, für some people is difficult. Some of you don't find it difficult, no? Or is it for you the pronunciation? <coughs> it's difficult? No. It's not like Chinese, yeah? I compare with Chinese always, yeah, okay? Then we'll see. So this is only a question of uh, pronouncing, pronouncing, pronouncing. You really get it, yeah? There's not a problem. But you have to be behind and pronounce, pronounce, yeah? Okay? So, can I have a keep test with Bukhari? is everywhere. <coughs> <clears throat> this is in the classical, means the classical place is going to go. We have an abnamita, we speak in the night, So from uh, afternoon <coughs> till late in the night, they are open. Am Abend is the serfoy, very full. 
und viele Leute stehen, and many people stand. Ja? Es gibt kleine Gerichte, zum Beispiel Salat, manchmal auch eine große Speisekarte. So das Gericht auch toll, diese Tische. In Wien heißen die Kneipe Beise, in der Schweiz Beiz. So we have a lot of we just we just super line we have to come. So in the beer garden, uh, the beer garden this is the best one. This is unique. Oh, okay, good. Beer garden. Beer garden. Beer garden. Beer garden. Swing. Two fish. Two fish. Two fish. Two fish. Two fish. Two fish. Yeah, feel, feel. Uh, I'm waiting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so easy. Yeah, yeah. Bayern. Okay. Bayern. Okay, Bayern. Sie sind nun im Sommer die Off. Man sitzt draußen an langen Tischen und Bänken. Oft gibt es einen Spiel, Spiel, Spielplatz, Spielplatz für Kinder. Man muss Getränke, Getränke. Getränke kaufen, aber das Essen kann man selbst, selbst. selbst mitbringen mhm. oder dort kaufen. Im äh, Biergarten ist selbst, selbst Bedienung. Selbst Bedienung. What? Selbst. Selbst Bedienung. Selbst Bedienung. Es gibt also keine Kel Kellner. Wir gerne sind typisch für Bavaria. Okay. Das ist alles in Bavaria. Ja. Und dieser ist der State of Bavaria. Sie sind nur im Sommer geöffnet. Man sitzt draußen an langen Tisch und Bänken. So they have long tables and benches. Ja. Oft gibt es einen Spielplatz, das ist easy to understand, für Kinder. Man muss Getränke kaufen, aber das Essen kann man selbst mitbringen. Selbst ist oneself. <lacht> So you can bring your own food. Yeah. Oder dort kaufen. Im Biergarten ist Selbstbedienung, also Selbstservice. Nobody will go. Es gibt also keine Kellner. If you have a Kellner, it costs more. Naja, yeah, you have to pay these guys, yeah? So your, your little beer will be more. It costs more. It's not like in India you can have uh, 10 uh, waiters in a, in a restaurant. Yes, not like that, yeah, in the restaurant. And in our restaurant you have one or two. That is all. Question of, of money. The same in the, if you go in the, to buy clothes or something in the, in the shop, you will hardly find somebody. Yeah, you have so many people running after you. Yeah? It's very cheap here compared to the people who have been there. You, you can tell it, yeah. So if you need an information, it's a headache because nobody is there. If you have to go to the information desk and ask if they know it is good, if they don't know it, and you remain without information. The problem is as the wages, as the salaries. This is very expensive. Okay. So you have understood now all these things now you are doing yourself. Wo gibt es das? Wann geöffnet und essen? So zum Beispiel die Strauswirtschaft. Wo gibt es das? 
Ya, pues esa, so, walking testers. Wann ist das geöffnet? Vier Monate im Jahr. Und wie ist das Essen? Wie ist das Essen? <lacht> Ja, aber wie ist das? Was ist ein Flammkuchen? Was ist äh, äh, im Text geschrieben? Ein Fahr. Ein Fahr. Das Essen ist ein Fahr. Ein Simpel. So, Kaffee aus. Wo ist es? In Wien nur. Nur in Wien. Also in Österreich. Wann geöffnet? Wie lange? Wie lange geöffnet? Wie tatsächlich? Bis, bis, bis 23 Uhr. Und was kann man essen? Kuchen und richtig essen. Richtig essen, normales Essen. Strandbach. Wo? In Deutschland. In Städten. In Städten. Wann geöffnet? Wie lange? Also wann und wie lange? Wann? In welcher Jahreszeit? In welcher Jahreszeit? Im Sommer. Und wie lange geöffnet? Bis, Bis 23 Uhr. <lacht> Oder länger. Und was kann man essen? Was kann man essen? Also man kann essen und man kann vom Grill essen. Man kann vom Grill essen. So you will not eat the grill, but from grill. Means from coming from the barbecue. Kneipe, wo? Überall. Wann geöffnet? Ab bis später in die Nacht. Bis spät in die Nacht, ja. Und Essen? Kleine Gerichte. Kleine Gerichte. Oder? Salate? Und manchmal eine große Speisekarte. So also wenig Karten. Quite, uh, big. Und im Biergarten, wo ist das? In Bayern. Wann geöffnet? Nur im Sommer. Und äh, Essen? Ja, also dort kaufen oder mitbringen und man kann Bier trinken, Biergarten, ja, man trinkt Bier, man trinkt kein Cola, ein Limonade, so für die Kinder der, der Urlaub, ja, Cola, Limonade, aber normal ist es so viel, okay? So, ich möchte jetzt von euch hören, was findet ihr interessant? Das ist jetzt B. Welches Lokal möchten Sie gerne besuchen? Und sprechen Sie in Kleingruppe jetzt. So everybody is making a group with some people. Okay? And you speak about that. 
So we we move on to have the basin wirtschaft. Basin wirtschaft when. Nobody? No? I have to give you that. No. A coffee house. Hmm? Coffee house? So we saw it up. You know, maybe uh, here, this group is doing coffee house. Okay? Mm -hmm. so, yeah. A strand bath, we will take this for you. Okay? Not you, you will go with a uh, down, uh, with a uh, back, yeah? I don't know your name, yeah? D, 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 yeah, okay? Nikita, I think, Nikita and... Uh, and Maraj. And Maraj and... Vishaka. Vishaka, so together. And what is remaining? Only Ashwin? No, Ashwin. Ashwin mm. and Shita. What can you do? Also, uh, you do Kneipe on a strand bar here. Yeah. What? No, you're doing it. I do Kneipe. And you are doing Biergarten. Shikala and Ashwin. Okay? You have to find it interesting, yeah? Okay? What we are doing? Biergarten? Yeah. Why it is interesting? As you find, all of you will find an interesting point in that, yeah? Okay? No, no, here you are working with front. But what do you find yourself? Why it's interesting? So you talk all together and you try to not everybody writing for himself. <coughs>